Hey, what's up guys? Um, here's another Photoshop um, technical exercise for you guys to enjoy uh, and learn from. This is um, called Overlay and this is uh, really where you combine two images together to produce a kind of quite a surreal um, effect. Um, when you merge one image with another you, you kind of sometimes don't know what you're going to get and um, here we've got an image where I've, um, I've put a sort of scratched piece of acetate texture over a portrait uh, and they've kind of blended and merged together to create this kind of weird uh, zappy effect. Uh, I'm going to show you the original images so uh, here's the portrait uh, obviously which uh, without the scratches and this one is the scratches um, this was a piece of A4 acetate, black acetate, that I scratched with a bit of sandpaper and rescanned in. Uh, but you can make your own textures, your own patterns. You can even take your own pictures and, and patterns and, 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 and textures and what have you. As I say, you'll be surprised what, what works and uh, what looks, looks pretty good. Um, so um, just make sure that your texture or your pattern um, that you're going to overlay is of high resolution. Okay, it should be of the, a similar high resolution of of that of the image that you're going to put it over. Uh, if you are going to download the odd one from the internet, that's fine. But obviously, make sure you're getting high resolution. When I say high resolution, um, you're talking, you know, ten, ten to twenty megapixel in. In, in size. Right, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm going to go and choose the Move tool, which is top in the toolbox here. I'm going to hold down on my texture, my scratches. I'm going to click down and drag. I'm going to hover over my portrait. And while I'm still holding down, I'm going to drag it in and then release and click off on the mouse and put it on. Just going to zoom out again uh, a second. Control minus on the keyboard. Okay. Now I've got to twist this, and because I, I want these scratches to be uh, going uh, sort of vertical on my image. Now um, make sure to show transform controls is ticked on, like I've got here on the move tool in the properties bar. Hold down shift on the keyboard, and I'm going to click and drag and get this so it is um, it's horizontal. I'm going to unclick the mouse and unclick shift and then what I'm going to do is just move it up to the top left hand corner um, and I'm going to resize the bottom left hand corner and uh, down to the bottom left of the portrait image. Here we go. And once you're done, press enter on the keyboard. And you can see here in the layers palette, I've got my texture, my scratches over my portrait. All I do here is go to the blending modes, which is here where it says normal in the layers palette. Now there's several that you can choose from, but obviously this, this technique I've, I've called overlay. And the reason it's called overlay is because we're going to use the overlay blending mode. Overlay is usually quite a good generic one to use, but please try any of the others. They're all mathematical formulas. Uh, I won't go too much into detail, but they're how, how one pixel interacts over another pixel. So I'm going to choose overlay, and you can see instantly how the scratches has merged with the portrait. Now we're not done yet because though though that has merged, we we can modify it a bit, and we're going to modify it a bit. We're using masks, and the mask icon is at the bottom of the layers palette, just here. I'm going to put a mask onto layer one by left clicking once. There it is. And for you, for those who don't who don't know, masks are as follows. When you put a mask onto a layer, it's automatically white and it shows everything to the left. So it shows those scratches, uh, albeit in a, an overlay blending mode. But if I was to paint black on that layer mask, it would actually, anything to the left of that, so those scratches, would become invisible and show through to the layer below. So I'll show you this in practice. If I choose a brush, I need a black brush. So if your foreground isn't black already, press D and then X on the keyboard. Um, I'm going to um, keep on 100% opacity, although you could take this down if you want to fade off 
the effect. And all I'm going to do essentially is um, using a small brush here. So if you if you if you want a big brush or small brush, you can use the options here and go big or small brush, or you can use the square brackets on the keyboard like I do. And watch my um, brush as I as I click and drag over. So this is I'm painting black on the image, but actually it's actually on the mask. So here I go. So I do some zigzags like this. There you go. And I'm erase. I'm sort of hiding the texture and you can see on the mask here where I've been painting the black the black's telling Photoshop that you want to hide the texture of that those scratches I, I can I can bring my opacity down a bit I can I can take it down to like maybe 25 percent I can increase the size of my brush and I can just sort of fade off a little bit round here if I want can you see there's not as much um, uh, I'm not erasing or, or, or hiding all the texture. Um, I'm going to use a softer brush, so I'm, I'm going to press Shift, Square Bracket, Left several times, and you can see here that my brush now is a lot softer around the edges. Uh, and I'm just going to do some random painting around the image to hide some of the texture. I, I do use, sometimes use the word erasing. I don't really mean to use that. You're not erasing any pixels here. You're, you are just hiding them because if you make a mistake, say for instance, if I took too many, too many um, of the scratches off here, um, what I could actually do uh, is swap around to the white brush. So I could press this double-ended arrow here and then I could just reveal those scratches back and that is the power of masks essentially to hide or reveal certain subject matter on that layer using a mask using black and white paintbrushes. Um, that's it for today guys enjoy um, doing this on your own images uh, let's see some creative results from all of you so long for now